Today, I'm gonna to teach you how to overhaul your pantry for the Mediterranean diet. Hi, I'm Victoria, and I like to think of myself as a meal is a meal plan pro. So if you're looking to try a new diet or a certain way of eating, it doesn't just happen at the drop of a hat, right? There's planning and prep involved, and that planning and prep is what's gonna help make you successful. So with these videos, I'm gonna be covering a ton of different diet topics, but today we're gonna start with the best, the Mediterranean diet. So what is the Mediterranean diet? It's all about eating a balance of all foods. Plenty of fruits and veggies, whole grains, sorry, oh, brief this. intermission while he Seriously, does this. That's okay, mind, we'll just time. take a break. He was totally just here to like see what was going on. <laughs> Calcium rich dairy products, healthy fats that you get from olive oil, nuts, and salmon, and also a little bit of red wine. So first things first, in order to be able to successfully stick to a diet like this, you need to make sure you have the right tools in your kitchen. So today, we're gonna start with overhauling your pantry. When I think about what's in my pantry, I'm thinking beyond behind these doors. I'm thinking about what's in my fridge, in my freezer, in my spice cabinet. But to get us started, we'll take a look at what's in here. You probably already have a ton of stuff in your pantry, so that's where we're gonna start first. Looking at what you have, taking inventory of that to see what we can utilize that's already on hand. Right away, my whole grain stock is pretty short. These. I can probably let go of. I'm not getting rid of these. Mediterranean diet is about balance, and these make me happy, so they're staying. My seeds, which I add to salads all the time, on top of yogurt for breakfast. I don't even have a single can of beans in there, which is unusual. So these are all the things that I feel good partying with, mainly because it's a ton of added sugar. It's time to restock the shelves, which means we get to go to my favorite place in the whole world. The grocery store! So when you walk in the grocery store, you always end up in the fruit and veggie section first, starting with some fruits for snacks and breakfast for the week. And while I'm here, I'm always grabbing lemons and limes to use in dressings and marinades, squirt on top of salmon, chicken. These guys are a mess. The easiest way to eat more veggies is to actually make it easy to eat them. Things like peeled and cubed butternut squash helps seriously cut down on time in the kitchen. And pre-washed greens are a must. Always have these in your fridge for easy salad. A key component of the Mediterranean diet is getting more plant-based protein and moving away from all your meals having red meat in it. Things like chickpeas are super handy when you want a quick dinner. You can mix this up and make a falafel or throw it on salad or go for something different like black beans, mix it with some sour cream and salsa for a Mexican inspired meal. So now I have everything I need and I'm gonna head home now for the final step. Restocking my kitchen with all this delicious food. Now your kitchen is all set up to help you follow the Mediterranean diet with ease. If you're ready for the next step and wanna learn more about the Mediterranean diet, hang tight for my next video where we take all of this delicious food we have in the kitchen and put it into action for a week-long Mediterranean diet meal plan. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and if you have questions or there's topics that you'd like to see covered, please comment below and let me know what you'd like to see. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Until then, happy cooking. Bye, guys.